Hey, what's up everyone? Matt Montanez here again, and today I'm bringing you this awesome plugin. It's the Lursin Mastering Console plugin by IK Multimedia. This plugin is amazing. It's actually like my favorite mastering plugin now that I use. I've been using it for a little bit now, probably about a month, and it's been going on at the end of every mix before I send stuff to clients because it just brings all the music out. It's really, really dope. I highly recommend this plugin. Before we dive in and get into what these knobs are doing, how to use this plugin, or at least the way I use it, I'm gonna just say that this song is super awesome. It's by Amanda Cunningham and it's called Selfish Fool. I'll put the link in the description below so you can check it out. A really great record so I ended up mixing and mastering it and I've used this on the master and it sounds incredible. The record's also produced by a friend of mine who goes by Jukebox, really dope producer. So now let's dive into this plugin. The first thing to learn about this plugin is it's a mastering plugin. Like it's a true mastering plugin. I know I talked about like the master desk plugin and I didn't really like what it was doing and didn't work for me so I use it a different way. You can check that video out. I'll put the link uh, up here. And at the end of the video, I think it'll be there, but probably up here. You can check that out and it just shows how I used that plugin and I used it on the Tyler Perry show Sisters. I used it for that theme song, so you can check that out. This uh, plugin, it's a true mastering plugin and I love what it does. So before we actually dive into the knobs, let me click this menu here to open this menu. And as you can see, this is the chain we're actually using. It does a EQ, another EQ, a limiter, a de and a compressor. That's the chain I used for this. And you can't actually go in and change the chains. So this is where this mastering plugin makes things super simple is you select the style that you're working on. And so like if I click Americana loose, it switches that limiter as you can tell. And it flashed like this is what we changed. So like if I switch back to pop rock, it flashed. This is what we change. So that's what it does. Paste my settings back. It changes all the settings to the style. So you got Americana loose, which it does this. You got Americana tight, which I guess it stays the same chain. So Americana all stays the same change. Then you got EDM, which does this, and it pulls out that tube limiter. And the reason why it does that, because you know, it has those heavy bass 808s, um, well, bass snares and things like that, percussive stuff, you know, all the energy, you know, a lot of transients where with that tube limiter, it's gonna round all that stuff out, kind of like hip hop. So like if I go to hip hop, it won't have that also. It'll round all that stuff out so those transients won't really cut through. So pulling that will help those transients cut through. So there's hip hop and then you got hard rock and then you got down here, pop rock. So you got those uh, quick five different, wait, five, one, two, three, four, five, five different chains you can choose from. And i am be honest, like at first I thought, well, that's a huge limitation on how I master, but these guys got it down. Lursin Mastering, they have it down. I mean, their chains are, I think they're dead on to like what you should be working on. And of course, if you're working on pop rock, you don't need to choose the pop rock style. You could choose the Americana loose, whatever you prefer. But I think these master chains that they did made it so easy that they're perfect. And I like them a lot. I chose pop rock for this record. And then of course I started doing my presets on what I liked and I went through like I actually did a hip hop one with the tube limiter and I chose the American tie and I liked it. So it was like if I want that tube limiter, I got it there. And then of course I got the a hip hop one with more bass. And as you can see, it's more bass because it lets those transients and things actually cut through the right way. And then here's just a regular hip hop, uh, just like starting points that I use. So let me go back to my settings. Now, before we dive into these knobs and settings, I'm going to show you what this sounds like and I'm going to toggle it on and off. I'm going to just start here at the beginning because in the beginning, it doesn't have like a full on crazy production. It has the strings and things like that going in and the vocals, but you'll be able to hear the width kind of collapse because of the reverb and things. So let's start here and I'm going to play and then I'll toggle it on and off. Oh no, it all starts to plan. I made it all about me This time in front So as you heard, as soon as I hit it off, everything kind of went centered. All the music kind of came down like there was no more like the musical element that music feeling went away and that's where i was like whoa this mastering plugin is incredible like just that sound and of course like i did a little eq here but it was more just the sound of it was like wow like all that music went away so i'm gonna do it again i'm gonna start it off i'm gonna hit stop i'm gonna replay it the same section but with it bypass oh no 
it all starts to plan Oh no It all starts to plan like I said, all that music just went down, you know, that little bit of more presence and that warmth just went away in the whiff. And of course the whiff, it's not really because they're using whiff plugins, it's this chain's working for it, but the whiff is coming from that reverb, that reverb is being compressed and pushed up as well. So it's making things sound wider. It's very dope. Now let's dive into this bad boy and how I would use it. You get this input drive and the input drive is cool. It's basically how much of the original audio you're pushing through this plugin. Basically, you know, you can get like quiet, mixes and stuff so then you use the input drive mine i mixed a little loud so i pulled it back when i start off with the input drive i leave it linked first because you can control the left and right side separately i go linked first and i make sure i get like the overall how i wanted it and i decided on negative two then i unlink them just in case i need to make any adjustments i can move this one which will move the left side and as you can see here it has the l and then you can move the right side as you can see, it switches to an R. And then you get this cool little tape thing, which has like markers. And I think that's more just for um, like, okay, this is where my setting was at. The meter processing, you can go for the, the VU meters to go the input to what's just coming in or the process signal. I just leave it on process signal. I wanna see the VU meters at the end of the entire signal, so it's all post. And then you have the bypass switch here, which you can bypass it, but the meters still work. When that's what I liked about this, the meters will still work, but it just doesn't have the process sound. So if I play it, Oh no, it all starts to plan. I made it all about me. This time in front of your friend. So it's really cool. That's just a quick bypass switch instead of doing it up here or however you do it in your DAW. Then you got stereo monitoring where you can go stereo or mono. So you can collapse everything to the mono. So like if it's a single speaker. Oh no. It all starts to plan. And as you can tell, it just puts it in left and right speakers. And then you got this awesome push. And this is what I liked about it. So let's say I got, okay, I got my EQ set. I like how my EQ sounds. My EQ's there. And it's like, now I want everything. Let's hear everything just pushed up a little bit more. You can just push it all up and everything moves or you can bring it all down. So they're like, well, let's keep the bass exactly how it was and let's put everything else up that little push I did. Well, you can just bring it down and you can see my low ends all at zero and everything's up the little plus a bit. So I thought that's really cool. And then you got this cool tape thing as well. So like you can set it like a marker. So then you got your threshold and you're only messing with the threshold for the de which is all the highs. And then of course the last compressor and your makeup gain, that's your output gain. So you got to remember to jump into this menu and mess with the output gain because I think default, usually they're all about 4.55 and I just brought it down to two. You can hide that menu just like that. I want to keep this as simple as possible mastering. I'm not really trying to master records. It's more just mixing, mixing, mixing for me. I love the mixing side. Like I'll master records occasionally, but for mastering plugins, I just want something quick, simple. I can just set it real quick, send it to the client. They can hear it basically like a, like a semi master. So they can hear it loud in the car compares to radio or Spotify or whatever they're listening to. Now these knobs, you got like 60 Hertz, 120, 3K, 6K, and then 10K. And at first I thought, wow, well, that's not enough wiggle room it is <laughs> it really is and it's really because like these are so clean and they go hand in hand with the compressor that it won't muddy stuff up basically it's going like programmed input into these compressors so the more you're adding into it then the, the compressor is going to change the way it reacts to the signal coming in so let me show you i'm going to boost 60 hertz 60 hertz it's a shelf basically 60 down 10k is a shelf 10 and up and then 120, three and six, they're all bell curves. The 120 is a wider bell, and then they kind of get a little narrower. 6K kind of stays narrow between like four to seven or eight. And then three kind of goes down to about, I'm gonna say like one to five. So they're all just curves. Now I'm gonna boost the 16. You're gonna hear all that low end just comes up, but it's not gonna like destroy the mix. Oh no, it all starts to plan. Made it all about me This time in front of your friends I promise I'll try not to be so even if I wanted like a lot more low end, I could have went up to like plus 25, 20 around there. But I thought four was good enough because I didn't want to like super overpowering bass because I felt this was more like a uh, theatrical, jazzy ballad kind of record in my opinion. And that's what I went for. Then you got 120. And like I said, this is more of a bell shape. Oh no. 
Again, like I said, you don't hear it destroying the mix. So let's do the 3K now. And this is, you know, that harsher area. And it doesn't get over harsh. It's really cool. Oh no, it all starts to plan. I made it all about me. This time in front of me. So it's really cool how these EQs really work and they're not destroying everything. And I'm boosting a lot, cutting a lot. I mean, they obviously don't boost a lot and cut a lot like a regular EQ would. It does a lot less, but it does make a difference on if you push it all the way or not. But it's just so cool that nothing's getting destroyed. It's just clean the way they're working. Oh no, it all starts to play. And here's that rich sound, you know, the, the expensive sound, they like to call it that around that 7K area. Oh no, it all starts to play. I made it all about me. Like if I wanted more of a lo-fi record, I'd probably pull some of that out, but I think it sounded pretty good too. So let's move to that nice uh, 10K now. Oh no. It all starts to plan. I made it all about me. So yeah, it's very cool, very simple to use. And like I said, I love it. I've been dropping it on every single track I've worked on. The cool thing about this plugin too, which I need to mention is they actually have an iPhone and iPad app, which I haven't tried out. You can actually load the song on your iPhone or iPad with this plugin. It'll sync and you can actually control the master right on your iPhone or iPad. So let's say you take it to the car, you can plug in your iPhone or iPad, make your adjustments and tweaks in the car, listen to it. Then you can come back and it'll sync with your session and you can just bounce it out with the new adjustments after of course you make a couple more tweaks but it's really dope i was like wow that's that's a great idea because you know our car test is the true test at the end so that's a plus with this plugin and that's another reason why i highly recommend it i gotta jump on that more but like i said i don't do too much mastering it's really just something semi-quick and sending it off so let me just push this real quick and i'm gonna let it play a little longer so you guys can vibe with the record oh no it all starts to plan. I made it all about me. This time in front of your friends. I promise I try not to be so selfish. Sorry, I'm mean. Sorry, I'm jealous. I swear I'm not proud. So right here, when I start pushing it, when these drums, the kicks come in, that's where it started distorting. That's why I didn't go higher than I did. But I could push it a little further up to get more of that sound. But like I said, I felt like it was more of a ballad, jazzy, theatrical record that I want to keep it that dark tone. So it's just more of a feeling I went for. So And then at the end of my chain here, I just threw on the limiter just to make sure nothing clips. Very easy, but yeah, this is the record. This is the plugin. It's super dope. Like I said, this would be a quick review video for this plugin just to make you guys aware of it. Go grab this plugin. Try out the iPad app. At least try that out before you buy it. And you can always demo, you know. As always, keep creating music. Like, subscribe, share. And if you have a comment, question, or you guys want me to do a video on something specific, just drop me a comment below or connect with me on social media. I'm always on Instagram and Twitter. Well, not always, but I'm on there quite a bit. And um, I'm always responding to a lot of people asking me questions and, you know, even just checking out music. Feel free to connect. All right, everyone. Take care.